Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to make frequency tables and dot plots. Now, frequency tables and dot plots help us organize data. They are a way for us to represent and display data. Let's jump into our example where we are going to take a look at this data right here. These values, these numbers, represent the number of streaming service subscriptions. So subscriptions to things like Netflix, Disney+, Hulu, and so on. There are so many options. So a group of people were asked about the number of streaming service subscriptions they have, and these are the results. The first person said one, the second person said four, so on and so forth. Let's first create a frequency table, and this table will show us the number of times each value occurs in the data. Now, before we make our table, we need to find the lowest value and highest value. That way we know how to set the table up. The lowest value is zero, and then the highest value is six. That tells us that our table needs to go from zero to six. Now let's draw our table. So I will start with the outside here and then three columns and a row up top for the column headers, the column labels. Let's start with the column on the left, which will always be the column that is specific to the data we are working with. Here we have the number of streaming service subscriptions. So I'm going to put number of subs for short. So that's our number of subscriptions column. And then the middle column is going to be the tally column. Now I do want to mention that the tally column is not always included. The tallies are optional, so frequency tables can be made without them. I'm going to include the tally column in this example. They can be helpful when working through the data and finding the frequencies. So that's something to keep in mind when it comes to frequency tables. And then the column on the right is the frequency column. Next, let's make our rows. We need zero through six, so that's seven rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And then we can fill in the number of subscriptions. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we can work through our data and find each frequency, the number of times each value occurs within the data. Now we can go through this different ways. We can go one by one, so tally one value at a time. We can tally multiple values at a time, or we can count all of a certain value. So for example, count all of the zeros, then count all of the ones, then all of the twos, so on and so forth. Again, multiple ways of doing this. Do what works best for you. For this example, I'm going to work from left to right and tally three values at a time. Let's start with one, four, and two. So one, four, and two. One, four, two. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Zero, six, three. Zero, six, three, two, three, four, two, three, four, three, five, six, 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 three, five,
five, six, five, six, two, five, six, two, four, six, three, four, six, three, two, four, four, two, four, four, and then one more four, four. Now that we have everything tallied, we can do our final counts for the frequency column. Starting with zero, we have one person with zero subscriptions, one person for one subscription, four people for two subscriptions, five people for three subscriptions, seven people for four subscriptions, three people for five subscriptions, and four people for six subscriptions. Let's wrap this table up with a title up top. So streaming service subscriptions. And that's it for our frequency table. So you can see that this table helped us organize our data. This is much easier to interpret. It's much more meaningful than just looking at a list of numbers. Let's move on to our dot plot. Now this is another way to represent and display data. Dot plots give us a visual of the data. So our first step in making our dot plot is to draw out a number line. The number line needs to include our lowest number in value, zero, and then it needs to go all the way up to our highest number in value, six. We need to make sure to include all of the numbers within our data. So let's make our number line here and go from zero to six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's label these numbers. So let's do number of subscriptions. By labeling those numbers, anyone that looks at this dot plot will know exactly what they represent. Now we need to draw dots for the data. Let's start with zero subscriptions. So how many people have zero subscriptions? Well, one. That means we need one dot above zero to represent that person. So one. Let's move on to one subscription. How many people? Well, one person. So we need one dot above one as well. How about two subscriptions? We have four people. So we need four dots. One, two, three, four. Three subscriptions, we have five people. So we need five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Four subscriptions, we have seven people. So seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How about five subscriptions? Three, so we need three dots. One, two, three. And then lastly, six subscriptions. We have four people, so we need four dots. One, two, three, four. And then to wrap this dot plot up, we can put a title up top. So let's put streaming service subscriptions. So there you have it. There's how to make a frequency table and a dot plot. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.